now let's move further in here we will also check if user doc okay that one in which we just assign that so if that user doc if that equal to no if there will be nothing okay if that empty then that in this case we will just return okay nothing else now there's a working of if gonna be and now we will go towards the else now we will say if the user doc if that not equal to no it simply means that if it's contains some kind of data then write in else we will get that okay curly braces take this down and since it's a stateful widget so we have to get it right inside this step so it will change it dynamically that's why we are getting that right in this step so in here sit step and let's get that data now first we will just as you guys can see implemented that variable name email phone number and so on so first we will get the data and one by one we will assign that data right to these string type variables okay and so on now in here first what I'll say I'll say user doc since it's contain the instance we are creating here okay it's right inside the user doc as I told you already so in here with the help of user doc because it's contain that okay you will say user doc dot get we will simply first get the name so in here string and you will say name and guys the name must be similar right in here and also in the firebase fire store right in the collection of a user okay it must be same otherwise it will not get the data so in here semicolon now we just get the name and now we will just assign that name right to the string type variable name okay now right after that what I'll do I'll just copy that and paste it down in here now we will get the email so in here email and string type variable email in here we just assign that email we get it and assign it to the string type variable email now right after past it and in here we will get the phone number so in here phone number and let's assign it to a string type variable there we go the suggestion phone number we just assign that right in this string type variable phone number first we get it right in here now let's get the image URL so in here you will see user doc dot get in their string and then we will say user image okay and guys I'm telling again the name right in here and also in the firebase fire store right in the collection of a user okay it must be same if it's not it will not get the data so I have already checked the name like this one this one and this one and now I'm writing it like that so first make sure of the name and then in your case write it okay so the user image will contain the user photo so in here that's why we write it like that in here semicolon now we will just assign that user image right to the image URL string type variable okay and let me also show that right in the firebase firestore okay open the browser here we are we are in the firestore database and right to the collection users we make an instance to that collection okay open that user collection and right inside that document as you guys can see and in there as you guys can see the user image it will contain the URL as you guys can see phone number name so that's why before I told you that it must be same then it will get that so let's go back to the app and work further below in here now we will say first let me just make it in a proper alignment that's fine now in here what I'll say I'll just create the timestamp and name this as a join at time stamp okay now we will say we will just assign we will say user doc dot get 
you created ad okay I think it was let me just check I think it was small c right in the firebase firestore first let me check that there we are yep it was from small c created ad okay let us go back in here small c so make sure like that and then write it so created ad you will get that and we will just assign that right in the join add timestamp okay so we are done with that now we will create a variable by the name join date and we will just assign that okay in which we sign that so in here we will say join at timestamp copy that from here in here past it we will just say go to that okay so we are done with getting the that and right afterwards we will say join at okay that one we just implemented before so in here we will just assign in here we will write the format so in here dollar sign and then call the braces make sure to make this in a proper way okay because we are getting the year month and day so while writing the format make sure to make it in a proper manner so in here we will say join date dot year first we will get the year as you guys can see right in here in the format and then in here dash and then dollar sign again calibrases right in there join date now we will get the month and in here again dash dollar sign calibrases right in there join date because join date will contain that okay all of the date so while it's content all of the date so in here right at end we will get the day right at and semicolon and guys make sure to add this format in a proper way okay let me show you one more time so that you guys can see it easily so we are done with that now let's move further below down in here we will say user there we go we class and object user type okay now in which we will just assign first we will say underscore auth that we just created before okay authentication for the current user We don't see the suggestion, but anyways, we will write it in here. We have already created the instance for that. Let me just check. I think it was in the previous videos that we created. Let's go and get it, anyways. So, in here, let's create that final Firebase auth authentication. Let's make that instance. So we are going to name this as auth, okay? And we will say Firebase Authentication Auth, okay? Dot instance. So now the error will be gone then, okay? So there was the reason that we just didn't implement that before. That's why in here we didn't see the suggestion before, and also there was error. Now it's gone, as you guys can see. Now let's move further. Right up over, we will say final. Let's create the uid okay in which now we will just assign the user okay i'll check with their specific uid okay that inside that user and it's going to be private as you guys can see underscore now right in here we will set it state since it's a stateful widget so we will change the result dynamically in here semicolon now let's take this down from here and in here we will say is same user now writing this is same user we will assign the uid okay in which we just assign that user with the specific uid it's right inside that uid so in here we just assign that uid right inside that is same user okay we just assign that in there now we will equal that to the widget dot user id so there's gonna be then a same user 
so in here that's why we already like that and I hope you can read the idea now and so that's done now in here if it's catch any error so in here we'll say catch and if it's catch it then right in here we will say finally there we go and we will just right in there set the is loading to false all fine we are done with this method we just simply get the user data as you guys can see right in here okay and the last thing that we will do just call upon that method right in the inner state above the widget bill in here so in its state and right in there we will say get user data and call upon that so we are finally done with that successfully so whenever the app will be run it's gonna call upon that method get user data that's why we wrote it like that right in the inner state so basically this video is getting a little lengthy we will end this video right in here and as you guys can see right in here we have successfully get the data now right from the next video we will simply show it that this data for example name email phone number we will create a beautiful design right in here right in the center of the screen a beautiful card and we will show the data one by one right in the next video so that's it for this video see you in the next one